Hello friends and welcome to Ghostwatch. Today we'll be checking out some videos, some terrifying things caught on dash cams. Today check out a, a channel called The Darkest Secret. Without further ado, let's check it out. Real videos now. of real situations that seem straight out of a science fiction movie. A terrifying call due to the strange man in the middle of the road and even an event that you wish would never happen to you. That is just a taste of what awaits you in this video. Terrifying paranormal phenomena combined with real life situations that could happen to you on your next drive. My name is Leonore Clay and this is The Darkest. Secret. Secret. Something tells Today we me present it's gonna be the most disturbing things captured on dash cams. Let's check it out. Number seven. We start this video with the incredible nightmare that luckily a man managed to capture on camera because otherwise they would never have believed him. What you now see on screen happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Julio, the owner of this vehicle, had just gone shopping and was now returning home. I ask you to put yourself in his shoes and tell me, what would you do in the following situation? Observe. I'll tell you after I've seen it. Is he following him? It is, man. Wait for me. What? Who the if for you, man? Mind your own goddamn business. What's his problem? What the f are you doing, dude? To be honest, we haven't seen what happened prior to this, you know? Or to be fair, I mean, not honest. Hey, man. Hey, there's a car following me. He's throwing s at me. I'm on Lomas go I'm on Lomas going eastbound and he's he's I don't know what he's doing man. Hey Lomas and what's the closest cross street? To right you? now San Pedro, it's a red light. Holy s I mean the the I don't know what they're trying to do, man. Uh, oh my god man. You see what it looks like? It's a red it's a red uh Chrysler three hundred. Holy cow. Are they still throwing things? They're just right behind me. I don't know what they're doing, man. You're chasing him around. Right behind me. I think, Why? I don't know what the hell is going on? Oh, there's a cop right next to me. This guy right behind me. Hold on. Hey, this guy right here. Are you here. still there? This guy right here. Are going is the officer right there with you? No, he just he just went on a high speed car chase. Holy cow! Okay, hang on with me. Hang Hopefully, we'll find out the, I, what I the f he was up to. Right now, I'm not sure what the hell just happened. Man. How you doing, man? I'm, I'm with the 911 operator right now. Listen, I don't know what happened. I pulled out. I was gonna have to get some food right there in Central. And then all of a sudden, this car just pulled up right in front of me. I thought they were going to carjack me or something, man. And they started to get out. I put it in reverse, and I just got the hell up out of there. and went down towards San Pedro and Central. Did you get a free number? I wasn't able to take Man, I was... Hell That's okay. That's fine. Like I, I said, I... I got it on camera, though, bro. Do you have it on camera? Yeah! Okay. Out of nowhere, a red car insistently begins to follow him for several minutes. Why? And blocks his path. 
perhaps with the intention of robbing him, or even with the intention of doing something much worse. Yeah, who knows? Julio quickly realized that this was not normal and decided to call 911. However, in the meantime... Who knows what that guy, girl, or whatever was driving that car wanted, you know? That's spooky. Not spooky, it's creepy. Who the F are you? Mind your own business, man. He had to escape. The red car would not stop. Although the police sent patrol cars to his rescue, they would take a while to arrive. Try to imagine his heart beating fast. Yeah. And if he stopped where he shouldn't, the red car can block his way. And who knows what could happen. Oh. The next day, Julio found out that unfortunately, the police were unable something. to track him down, leaving him with terrible anguish because those individuals were still at large. Yeah. What goes through people's minds to do something like that? Risk going to prison? Risk hurting people someone? People are crazy, man. Perhaps. The question is, do they even care? Like I say in many of my videos, people are a lot more scarier than any ghost. Right? Am I right? What would you have done in this place? I would have done Comment the same thing. Below. I would have done the same thing as this guy did. Number six. Get the F out of there. Find some cops. Right? I don't know whether to call this a dash cam or not. It is a camera located on the control panel of a train. But what matters is what is captured. Let's check it out. What the F is that? Looks like two persons standing here, right? But they're all <clears throat> translucent like. What the F is that? They do look, look humanoid, yeah? What do you think that is? Ah... Oh. What? What is this over here as well? Did you see it? It just disappears. What's going on? Holy Moses. What is that? This one just keep coming back and disappearing, you know? What are those silhouettes? I don't know. Ecolastico Lovo Lovo is the name of the subscriber who sent us this video. He claims that this is the first time this has been captured on camera. I understand that those two that you see there are an optical effect. But what about this other one? How does it appear and disappear? I don't know. It's also what I was wondering about. Egolastico asks us to focus on the silhouettes, ensuring that they are in antique clothing. Do you think so? I can Could tell. it be the spirits <laughs> of ancient people who worked here? Maybe. Who manifested themselves? So Have many, they lost their So many people lost their lives, you know, making these railroads back in the days, in the late 1800s, yeah? Lives doing this. Tell me what you think. That's weird. Number five. Right? The next is literally the scariest night a family has ever experienced. Imagine traveling with your family group along a desolate road at night when suddenly the dash cam that you have installed in your vehicle 
begins to record the following. Let's check it out. Are those orbs? Or no, that's, that must be lights, yeah, from in the window. No reflections. Or what? Hello? Oh, put reverse. There's a guy in a clown mask. Holy toaster. That would freak me the right out. Get a job, man. Where's your circus at? Could it be a man with a mental issue? A prank in bad taste? Be that as it may, surely this incident would... That looks like a clown mask, right? Do you remember? It was some years ago. When there was a lot of crazy people running around in clown masks. Scaring people the F out. What's wrong with people? Why can't they just live, live normal lives? It would be difficult to forget. Who acts like this? Must be mental Number four. Mental illness, right? Right? Get some help. Marin Martinez, the subscriber who sent us this video, tells us that what you will see here corresponds to a strange paranormal phenomenon. He assures that these two people you see in this static photo are ghosts, manifestations of spirits that appeared here seconds before a fatal accident. that on the road but the collision of the bus with that pole was downright brutal with severe damage to the front part of the bus and the windshields that practically exploded however I don't see it. contrary what? to all logic oh, we there. immediately see this Let's see it again part of the bus and the windshields oh, that practically she exploded just blurted out. however Contrary to all logic, we immediately see this man walking calmly down the street. He does not turn around. He does not stop to look. Do you see him? What? What's wrong with you? Is he deaf? He must be deaf, right? As if appearing indifferent and oblivious to this whole situation. Yeah. That practically occurred so close, he, he could have more than heard it. Marin says that this man appears out of nowhere, that he wasn't there before. Unfortunately, the quality is not good enough to ensure that. No. He also asks to focus on the man on the roadside. He must be Don't deaf, you find right? that strange, too? According to Marin, the relatives of the victims saw this video and assure that at least the one who is walking is one of the victims of the bus accident. And they still cannot explain how something like this happened. Assuming that the whole story is real, which makes sense because it went viral in his town as a result of this story, not because of the accident. It went viral because of the story that one of the deceased is seen walking here. Isn't it supposed to be that the spirits appear after leaving the body? What do you think about all this? I don't know. Could it be true? I think I think I think that's just a deaf guy or something, you know? He doesn't hear what's happening. It looks like it's behind him, yeah? He's walking this way, isn't he? What do you think about all this? Yeah, he's Could walking it this be way. True? That's happening behind him. Number three. He must be deaf. Right? 
Or do you think Although that's a victim? Although this is a channel that addresses the theme of the paranormal and Someone inexplicable, that was in the bus? from time to time it is also good to highlight and emphasize the famous phrase that says, we must fear the living more than the dead. A phrase that makes complete yep. sense when we witness situations as shocking, creepy, and heartless as the ones you will see below. What is so creepy? Where did you get them? Come here. <laughs> Why are you doing? Come on. I'm not getting out of the car. It's just a guy in a mask. Walking by. Many of the videos that what make up that? this collection were sent by my audience. If you know or have similar videos what? that you would like me to see, what happened? do not hesitate to send them to the email you see on the screen. Without further ado, let's continue. Yeah, I don't want to see that one again. The victim what? is an okay. elderly woman, an innocent lady who perhaps does not see evil with the naked eye. According to statements given by the victim, Several masked individuals broke the glass of her vehicle and then hit her and took her belongings. What the others wrong were in the you? back. A dramatic situation that no one would want to experience. What the F but is that wrong makes with people, us reflect man? on the moments that society is angry. currently experiencing. Not only because of the job. brutality of the act itself, right? but also because of the lack of help from the people who at that moment were there, paralyzed and undaunted watching this what? terrible act of crime being carried out. Real life heroes are rare. Do not expect someone to help you in a situation like this. Your life comes first. What a coward, this guy, yeah? You can see he's looking this way and sees something's going on. What the F is wrong with you, man? Look at this loser. What an effing loser. Material things come later. These individuals have nothing to lose and have such low intelligence yeah. that many will not hesitate in pulling the trigger to achieve their goal. What is happening in the world that makes us yeah. like this? Without a doubt, a foot that leaves a lot to think about. That's effing heartbreaking. Get the job, man. Number two. Right? Like the rest of us. Tell me, have you made someone angry while on the road? Have you found yourself in the middle of a brief conflict because the other driver won't let your insult or honk pass? This is the fear that many drivers have. Honking at someone, yelling at someone for their bad driving, and that person has no- You're not supposed to honk? At people the honking is only if, if we can prevent an accident by honking not because we're angry that's not what these horns are used for nothing right? to lose by hurting you I really hope that you are never faced with the disturbing situation published by the site dashcam owners Australia where a couple of men on the highway simply honked at someone an action that was enough for the other driver to completely lose control. Oh, he's got an axe to him. Like, he's got an axe. <laughs> like, like <laughs> stay, stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, fuck off, man. Keep distance, bro. Is that an axe? He's holding in his hand. Are you ready, Chucky? Are you here?
Yeah, that's what I would have done. Get the F out of there. Oh, is this uh, backwards in the rear? He's following it. the highway. Bro, this car is fucking dead. <laughs> Just got a cop job. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Whoa! Fuck what? Me. Keep driving. Holy fuck. Fuck me. Call the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the F, man? What's wrong with people? It's gonna ram us bro. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Oh my god! Fucking hell. What? He's smashing his own car. Why? What a low IQ people, man. What mental deficiency makes a person react so crazy? Yeah. How many neurons must you have lost for a simple <laughs> honk or a scream to make you lose control like that? Risking going to jail got a problem, and having man. to pay for all the damages. Facts like these make us reflect on how little intellect a person <laughs> must have to act in this way. Yeah. Like a beast that is incapable of measuring the consequences of its actions and the irreparable damage they can cause to some others. People, wrapped some in a people. completely unjustified and irrational anger are capable of sacrificing the little or nothing they have. What do you think about this? It's what do you crazy, think man. about road rage? Number one. Holy toaster. We conclude this video with another disturbing incident that occurred in Russia. It was in the middle of a dissolute rural road that the driver saw a vehicle cross in the distance with no apparent explanation. What would come next would be completely traumatizing. Observe. Oh, it's holding up baseball bat. Are you here to play ball? Smile, you're on camera. Get the F out of there, yeah. Two young men with bats begin to intimidate the driver, blocking the way and apparently trying to get him out of the vehicle. However, luckily for him, the driver saw the opportunity to escape the situation by fully accelerating to get out of it. Regarding the reason to I why those young men over, intimidated you know? him, he says he has no idea that he had just never slowly, seen them course, in his life still. and that he will surely never see them again. What would you do if something similar happened to you? I will Leave them me over. your answers in the comment box I will. because this video has come to an end. Awesome. My name is Leonor Clay, and this was the darkest, the darkest secret. Secret. What do you guys think of these videos? What do you have you experienced road rage like this? Luckily, I haven't. Wow! If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, bye-bye.